got to see what you see. You are doing a great work in me. I've decided I can stand still. No, you have given me purpose. All my, all my heart is yours. to serve you. serve you you have given me a job to do i wanna love the world just like you yeah you have given me purpose oh my oh my heart is yours This is amazing. Uh, tell me about it, recreating the Jules Verne classic around the world in eight seconds. This seems crazy. Uh, it is. OK, here we go. You ready? Yep. Oh! 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 Yeah. That was really fast. I, I didn't see anything. Yeah, Wait a second. I think we got the title wrong. Huh? It's not around the world in eight seconds. It's, it's around, around the, the world, world in 80 seconds. seconds. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. No! This still seems a little fast. <laughs> I'm Brandon. I'm John. And welcome to the So and So Show. We're gonna have to get through the show quick because my friend John here has a flight to catch. Yes, I He's do. He's going on a huge trip. Uh -huh, Are yeah. you excited? Uh, kinda. What do you mean, kinda? You've been looking forward to this trip for weeks. Well, you're packed, right? Not yet. Not yet, John. You have to leave for the airport right after the show. <laughs> come on, I'll help you pack. No, uh, come on. What are you doing? Come on, uh, we gotta go I pack. No. No. Nope. What what's going on? What is wrong? Oh! What is wrong with you? Come on! What's wrong? <clears throat> John, is your hand glued to the table? Why? You know what, it doesn't matter. Come on, we gotta get you out of here. <laughs> I've already tried. Do or do not, there is no try. <laughs> no! 
no, 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 ah. Ah. no, no, no. Okay, three, two, one. Try to put some pressure. Here we go. Pull in the tablecloth. Yeah, yeah, here yeah, we go. Here we go. One, two, three. No, no, wait, wait. We do not. And my flight leaves in five, four, three, two, one. I have a second hand on my digital watch. I'm so sorry, buddy. Yeah, I just don't know what to do. I mean, it was gonna be an amazing trip. It was gonna have everything. You know, museums, the zoo, Ooh. a train ride, really? surfing, a Broadway musical. Where is this? And so much more. What if, what if we didn't have to go? Huh? Or what, what if I brought your trip to you? Welcome to the greatest road trip ever! Ladies and gentlemen, straight from somewhere near the street of Broadway, or at least within 852.7 miles of it, the newest production of Felines. To Earth satellite, let your remembrance lead you. Open the door and go in. If you find it, a new sun will shine again. Felines. Mm. Mm. Oh. Wait. Oh. Whoa! Everybody's going to Surf and toe and toe. Whoa, wipe out! Oh. Oh. Welcome to the original golden age of travel. Horse and buggy? No, I'm talking about trains. <laughs> A panda. Oh, oh, he's so cute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, what'd you think? Almost as good as the real thing. <laughs> All right. So, so what do you want to do now? Um, well, something I could never do on my road trip. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Kellen, how's it going? Good, good. How's it going with you? Ah, oh, just, you know, hanging around, not really uh, going anywhere. Feeling like there's no way out, but I, like I'm just gonna be here forever. Well, I don't know if this will help, but I do have a story about someone who didn't seem like they had a way out. Oh, that sounds great. Yeah. Take it away, Kellen. Yeah, please. Are you okay? Yeah. All right. Our story today comes from the book of Acts. Jesus had been raised from the dead, and his followers had received the Holy Spirit. But then, some crazy, not-so-good things happened to them. Things that could have made it hard for them to keep their faith. King Herod was having Jesus' followers thrown in prison. And that's where we pick up today's story with... 
Laundry Theater. The Apostle Peter was one of Jesus' most devoted followers and a leader of the early church. Peter was one of the people who had been thrown into prison, and he was guarded by several guards. In the middle of the night, while Peter was sleeping, suddenly an angel appeared. The angel told Peter to quickly get up, and the chains fell off Peter's wrists. The angel had Peter put on his coat and his sandals, and he snuck past the guards out of the prison. Peter thought he was seeing a vision. In the moment, he may not have had the faith that this was actually happening. He was stuck, and he couldn't believe that there was a way out. But whether or not he believed it, Peter had gotten out of prison, and he was walking along the street when the angel left him. That's when Peter finally realized what was happening, and he ran to a house belonging to someone named Mary. Now, there were a lot of Jesus followers meeting there, so Peter ran up and he knocked on the door. Inside, people were praying, and someone named Rhoda went to answer the door. Rhoda went and told the others that Peter was at the door, but they didn't believe her though. They thought she was out of her mind, but Peter kept knocking until they finally opened the door and they were amazed. Peter told them to keep quiet. Then he told them the amazing story of how God broke him out of prison. After that, Peter went on to a different location to continue to do the good work of Jesus. Wow, incredible story. Definitely. I mean, God broke him out of prison. Can God break you out of almost anything? Like your hand being glued to your desk? Well, sometimes God uses other people to help when you're stuck. In fact, one thing you can try is if you take some- No worries, all good here. Thanks, Kellen. Uh, yeah, sure thing. See you next time. Later. I think he was about to give me an idea how to get out of this situation. Yeah, yeah but I thought it might ruin some things. Ruin what? The rest of my day? No, this. Uh, reveal the question. <laughs> what does oh. it feel like to be stuck? Wow, that's convenient. Tell me about it. Uh, well, for me, in a very real way, feeling stuck is hard. It's mm -hmm. frustrating, and I don't know what to do. Ugh. Yeah, but there are other ways that people feel stuck. Uh, maybe you feel stuck because you can't quite find a group of friends that you fit in with. Or maybe you're really having problems getting along with someone and you don't know how things will get better. Yeah, we can feel stuck in different ways. So find someone you trust and tell them when you're feeling stuck. Yeah, and remember, when you put your faith in Jesus, it can help remind you that even when you feel stuck, God is with you. That's true. Well, that's all the time we have, but we'll see you next time on the So and So Show. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <sighs> wait, 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 is that a... We're gonna get you out of here, buddy. Okay, I trust you. <laughs> it worked! <laughs> hey, you wanna play ping pong? Absolutely. Oh, I missed. Oh! Ready? Yeah. Three left. Oh! Game point. Game over. Yeah. What do we do now? Hey, let's go rowing. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Where's the boat? <laughs>